Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In this video, we are going to see how to draw Purple Gable database. I have already installed the Oracle Tools software in my laptop. Okay, so I am connected with the SQL Plus utility. Let me check the database name. I also will check whether it is a container database or not along with the database status here I can see the name of the database is CDB it is a container database and currently it is up and running mode we'll check how many data pluggable databases are there so there are three pluggable database the first one is the default one only which will always open in the read only mode and then pdb and pdb1 these are the two pluggable database we have here as a practice purpose or uh, just to demonstrate you i am going to use the pdb1 database and the same database i am going to drop here there are a couple of things that we need to take care before dropping the pluggable database uh, the first thing is the database should not be in a read write mode i am talking about the pluggable database the pluggable database should not be in a read write mode first we need to stop the pluggable database okay and uh, the second thing is when we are dropping the pluggable database we are also using the clause including data files it means to say if i'm using this including data files clause it will also delete the data files which are also associated with this pluggable database but if we are in a situation where we need to keep the data files then we need to use the clause as keep data files uh, in this video we will use the including data files clause so that uh, it will also delete the all data files with this pdb1 data base okay so let's see it how this is going to work as of now we are going to use the pdb1 pluggable database first i'm connecting to this uh, pdb1 database alter session set container equals to pdb1 okay now i'm checking what are all the data files are there select file underscore name table space underscore name from dba underscore data underscore files let's do it call file underscore name for a60 okay so we do have these three data files with this pluggable database eap oracle ora data cdb pdb1 eap oracle ora data cdb pdb1 okay now you can see here these are the three data files we have and user data file is available inside the pdb1 directory it should be there ora data and then pdb1 so here you can see it right now what i'm going to do i'm just dropping this pluggable database but before that what i said earlier that we need to keep this pluggable database is in mount stage okay so in order to do this thing alter pluggable database database name okay and then close now if you are checking the status of pdbs it is showing as pdb1 is in mounted let's connect to the root container from there drop the pdb1 pluggable database drop pluggable pluggga ple database pdb1 including this is what i was talking about data files drop pluggable database database name pluggable database name including data files 
pluggable database PDB1 does not exist. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. How come? Let's see what was the PDB1 was there, right? It was in read write mode. They dropped a PDB1. Oh, there is some typo. It should be PDB1, including data files. Pluggable database drop. Okay. Now we got the message saying pluggable database drop. Let's check show PDBs. See here. PDB1 is not available. But when we check previously, PDB1 was there. Now we have dropped the pluggable database. Also, we were using the clause like including data files. Let's check. Uh, I had already opened it. See here. Previously, users data files were there. Now you can see this data files is not there, right? So it is also uh, deleting the data files. But if you want to keep the data files, you need to mention like drop pluggable database database name, keep data files. What will happen? The database will drop, but it will keep the data files, right? Uh, so this is how we can uh, drop the pluggable database. If you have any queries, you can write mail to me. Uh, thank you so much. See you with the next video. Bye bye.